Hey everybody, it's Lizzie Iwerson here with Melanie Smith. And true to form, Melanie has put together another great group of forces for the upcoming Solo Select online sale this Saturday and Sunday. So Melanie, let's talk about what people are going to get to see this weekend. So this is lot 101. This is the unicorn. Uh, this is a three-year-old gelding by Caddy Hawk. Uh, he's out of bed on Houston, which is, uh, that mare's produced over a million dollars in the cutting. She's a great producer. Uh, this colt is royally bred. Caddy Hawk, his sire, won over 240,000. Um, so this gelding has been in cutting training. Uh, Grant Setnica has been riding him this year. Uh, he has an awesome look on a cow. If you guys watch the video, there's some video of me working him on the flag and also some video of him on a cow. Uh, this is just a really cool horse. He can go so many directions. He's got all the look in the world. Um, everybody that sees him loves him and he's very kind too. So we really enjoyed having this horse around and uh, he should fit a wide variety of people. This is lot 103. This is Pepto's Opus Cat. So this is a um, 2006 daughter of Pepto Boone's Mall. This mare won 87,000 herself in her career. Um, she has not been a brood mare for long. Her oldest foal is just a four year old, um, but she is by smooth talking style and she's already won almost 50,000 in the cutting um, just as a four year old. That is her only four year old this year and that mare is still showing and winning. So this mare is set up to be a big time producer. Um, her first colt has, has sure been a good one. Um, this mare is not sound to ride anymore. She had an old stifle injury. Uh, we do keep front shoes on her. Um, she has two ICSI embryos that are frozen that are gonna go with her. Uh, one is by Stevie Ray Vaughan and one is by Rolls Royce. Uh, those two embryos will be stored at Equi Embryo and they need to be put in in 2022. The stud fees are paid on them. So when you put them in, um, they're your foals. There's nothing else left to pay on them. There is no life full guarantee on them, but they're ready to go in recips as early as you'd like in 2022. This mare has been flushed. She's also been ICSI'd. She is really, really easy to ICSI. It gives a lot of oocytes. Um, so you could go either way. You could, you could free some oocytes on her, or I'm sorry, some embryos on her this fall, uh, or wait until next year and start flushing her. But this mare should have a lot of value for somebody. We put her smooth talking style baby in the sale. Um, it's lot 103-1. So like I said, this is an own daughter of Pepto. She is just broodmare sound, but she's 187,000 and should be a big time producer. She's set up for it. Okay, so this is a smooth talking style. Um, she is out of Pepto's Opus Cat, which is lot 103 in our cell. This baby is lot 103-1. So uh, this baby actually has a full sibling that's won over 40,000 this year, just as a four-year-old. Um, and that is Pepto's Opus Cat's oldest baby. So this is a really, really nice baby. Um, as you guys can see, he's got a good neck, um, really athletic. So this is by Smooth Talking Style out of Pepto's Opus Cat. And like I said, her oldest colt is a four-year-old that's already won 40 something thousand as a four-year-old. So a lot of room to go there, a lot more money to win. So this should be a really nice prospect for somebody. If you want an investment, a baby to buy it and go put back in the yearling sales at Western Bloodstock, this would be a great one to do that with too. Or if you just want to raise your own prospect for the futurities, um, you could sure do that as well. This is another one of our favorites. This is a yearling stud colt by Stevie Ray Vaughan. Um, he is out of a daughter of highbrow cat that's out of a freckles marauder mare. Uh, his second dam has produced quite a bit and won uh, about 60,000 or 60,000. This is 105. This is level up. This is a yearling stud colt by Malice. Uh, Metallic Malice was the stud that we've had for several years that we sold to 70 Ranch last year. Um, so he is by Malice and he's out of a power cat Boone's Mall mare. Um, his mother has produced uh, some earners in the cutting. Uh, this colt will be eligible for a lot of really good incentives. Uh, He'll be eligible for pink buckle, uh, will be able to be paid in next year. We have already paid him all of his payments to date in ruby buckle. Uh, he'll also be eligible for royal crown. He's double registered AQHA and APHA. Um, I've had a lot of people call about this colt for a stud prospect. He has a ton of bone. He does not have any white on him, which has been a question a lot of people have asked us. Um, he does not have any white on his forehead and he does not have any white on his feet. Um, so this colt will be a really nice ranch stud if somebody wants to go that direction, but I would sure love to see him at the rope horse maturities uh, or go into cow horse training. He'll be eligible for a lot of those great incentives. Like I said, he is double registered. He's got a lot of bone, a lot of foot. Uh, really nice colt by Malice. Okay. 
Okay, so this is a really special colt. This is a Dash to Fame, an own son of Dash to Fame. He is out of Nikki Brickhouse herself. That mare, um, a lot of people in the barrel racing world will know her. She has been a great producer. She's produced several Futurity earners. Um, she was a great mare herself. They rodeoed on her. She came from Judd Little's ranch. Um, that has just been a great producer and a great individual herself. So this colt is by Dash to Fame out of that mare. He's got a lot of look to him. Great stud prospect for somebody. Um, you guys know it's not really easy to get a dash to fame on the ground and it's sure not cheap so this colt will have a lot of value for somebody um you could take him raise him as a stud colt uh or as a stud prospect or you could take him and put him in the yearling cells at the bfa um he'll have a lot of value as a yearling and a two-year-old so great little investment some for somebody wanting to buy a dash to fame colt okay so this is 107 this is tag you it uh, this is a yearling filly. She is by hashtag. She's out of Stylish and Stockings, which is a really nice Pepto mare that 70 Ranch owns. Um, that mare is out of a daughter of Doc Stylish Oak. Stylish and Stockings has produced uh, several money earners. One that's won 50000 in the cutting by Smooth as a Cat. And then she has a metallic cat that Clayton Edsall rode uh, that's won 48000 I believe, in the cow horse. He's made several open finals on that horse. Um, so this mare has a lot of uh, a, a very strong maternal side. Um, she's always had a ton of shape. I don't know if you guys can tell in this video. This filly is super shapey. She's got a huge hip. She has been one of the prettiest babies here uh, since she was a weanling. So um, we have raised her from a weanling, known her her whole life. Uh, just a super nice yearling filly. She'll be ready to go to the cutter or cow horse program of your choice. Um, and again, this is Tag Your It. She's by Hashtags, and she is out of a Pepto mare that's out of a daughter of Doc Stylish Oak. Okay, this is one of our sale highlights. This is Raise the Bets. He's a two-year-old stud by Raising the Cash uh, out of a daughter of CD Royal that won over 220000 Uh This colt right here um, is absolutely a stud prospect. He's got a ton of bone, a ton of shape. Um, um, this colt will make anything you want him to do. He'll go to the cow horse. He will... Uh, be a really nice rope horse. He's got enough size to do all of it. So everybody's always calling, looking for ranch studs. Um, this horse has got all the, he checks all the boxes for anybody wanting ranch studs. Um, he's got a ton of shape to him. And this horse is also an outcross. That's one big thing about him. You can breed him to all your cat mares, metallic cat mares. Um, he does not have any cat in him. He's by raising the cash and out of a CD roll mare. So there's no highbrow cat in his pedigree. So Another big deal for him. You can buy all the cat and highbrow cat, metallic cat mares you want and bring them to this stud. So this is Raise the Bets. Okay, this is a white Russian. So this is a two-year-old filly by Dual Patron, which is the horse that Bobby Lewis rode and won so much on. Um, that stud has now gone to Brazil. Um, so she is by him and out of a Commander Curtis mare, which is some rope horses that um, Phillips Ranch has had for um, decades that, that have sure been big producers of the rope horses. So this mare is Perlino. Um, her color test, she is actually homozygous black and homozygous for the cream gene. So there's a lot of cool things with that. Um, Basically, if you breed her to a sorrel or a bay, you're going to get a um, black or buckskin every time. So, and it's actually, it's technically called a smoky black, but um, you're going to get a black or a buckskin. For instance, if you were to breed this mare to metallic attack, you would get either a blue roan, a black, or a buckskin, or a buckskin. This mare will be a really good brood mare for somebody's program down the road. Um, if, if she was ours, we would take her to the rope horse maturities, get some points and some earnings on her, and then... You can breed her to any of those studs and get something with color every time. So she's got a lot of value that way. She's super, super kind and sweet. And again, she's by Dual Patron. She's a two-year-old filly. This is White Russian. 110, this is an empty glass. Uh, we've had a lot of interest in this mare. She is a 15-hand daughter of Metallic Cat that is an NCHA earner. Uh, Russ Carroll had trained this mare. She's really kind, really easy to get along with. Um, she's by Metallic Cat and she's out of an own daughter of Peppy Sam Badger. Um, that whore, or that mare that she's out of has produced almost 500,000 including Caddy Hawk. So she's out of a really good mare. Uh, she's five panel clean. This mare should have a lot of value as a brood mare, but um, she's good withered. She cinches up deep. This mare will be awesome to keep cutting on or go rope on, uh, whatever you wanna do. But she's very easy to get along with and very kind. So. Uh, Again, this is an empty glass. She's a NCHA earning daughter of Metallic Cat. 111, this is Autumn. Uh, that is her registered name is Autumn. 
Uh, she is a yearling filly. She's by Metallic Cat. She is out of an own daughter of uh, Smooth as a Cat that's out of Autumn Boone herself. So um, her first dam won about 25000 but her second dam uh, is Autumn Boone. That has produced almost $2 million. So she has a huge bottom side. Um, this filly moves around nice in the round pen. She's got some flies on her right now. She moves around nice in the round pen. She'll be really good to cut her cow horse on. Uh, just a really nice little metallic mare. Uh, will make a really nice prospect for somebody for either of the Futurity Worlds. And again, her name is Autumn. Okay, this is hip 112. Uh, this is a really nice smooth as a cat mare. Um, she's out of Nurse Gray, which is a daughter of Gray Starlight uh, that produced a ton herself. Uh, she's produced about 800,000. This mare, I don't know if you guys can tell in this video, but she has so much look to her. She's got a ton of shape, really, really pretty headed. Um, she was never started as a baby. Uh, she hurt her back, um, so she was never started under saddle. It has not affected her any as a broodmare. She's carried several babies. Um, you would probably not know it unless I told you today that that was, was her deal and why she was not started. So Pierre's totally sound out in the pasture. Very easy to be around, easy to breed, easy to fold. She is in fold to dual rayish. Uh, that comes with a live full guarantee. Uh, so this is a really nice brood mare for somebody. She has all the look in the world. If you guys are looking for a big old shapey brood mare, this is her. But she is in full right now. She'll be due next May. Uh, she's bred to metallic attack and should get a really, really pretty baby out of this cross. So. Uh, like I said, she's by the Cowboy Cadillac. That horse has produced a lot of really nice rope horses and ranch horses for people. Uh, and she is in full to Tic Tac. This one is adorable. This is, uh, this is hip 115, Raising the Bets. She is a two-year-old filly by Raising the Cash out of a cat mare. Her second name is Betcher Boons. That's produced several hundred thousand. Um, so this mare has been in training with Ty Benson. She has a really cool look in, a, in the cutting. If you guys watch her video on a cow and on the flag, she's uh, really neat. She obviously has a ton of look to her. Uh, super cute mare, wants to stop big. Uh, can go a lot of different directions with, with this mare, but she has been with Ty Benson. Um, again, she's a raise in the cash, and I think we're gonna see those have a lot of value. Uh, there's not a ton of them, and uh, everybody is sure liking them and getting along good with them. So. She's a raisin the cash out of a cat mare, two-year-old filly. This is a dual rayish filly out of an own daughter of Smooth the Cat. That mare won over 80,000 herself. Um, this is an adorable filly. She's got a lot of shape, uh, a lot of ability. So this will be a really nice prospect for somebody. Hip 117, um, this is Stevie Nicks. She is a uh, filly by Stevie Ray Vaughn out of Stylish and Stocking. So this filly, um, it moves around the round pen really good. Her first dam, uh, Stylish and Stockings, we've already talked about a little bit. That mare herself uh, won some money and then has produced about 100000 uh, She had a cutter that won 50000 by Smith as a Cat. And then Clayton Edsall rode a metallic cat buyer that was a, a super nice horse. He made several open finals on. So, um, again, this is a Stevie Ray Vaughn out of a Pepto mare. Her second dam is a daughter of Doc Stylish Oak, Stylish and Foxy. And uh, really nice mover in the round pen. This mare will be a great prospect for somebody for the cutting or the cow horse. Okay, this is lot 118. This is Hot in the Shade. He is a yearling stud by Hottish. Uh, he's out of a daughter, Hal Racious, that won 20,000. His second dam is Cat O'Connor. Uh, that mare won about 70,000 herself and has produced a little over 400,000 with a lot of really nice colts coming up. We actually have a boon too soon out of Cat O'Connor that uh, is in training right now with Ty Benson. That's a super nice colt. So we know his dam side well. Uh, they've been really successful in the cutting and the cow horse. Um, this is a hottish. If you guys watch this video, he is extremely quick footed. This is probably one of the quickest yearlings we have in the sale. He is just super, super physical like all the hottishes have been. So this is a great cutting prospect or he could go to the cow horse. But um, if you guys watch his videos, I think you'll see he is a uh, A plus mover in the round pen. Okay, this is lot 119. This is Hot and Sly. She's a three-year-old mare by Hottish. Uh, she is out of a Freckles Marauder mare. Um, so this mare uh, is bred to Metallic Attack. She is due for a January baby next year. Um, she was in training as a two-year-old. She actually got stepped on as a baby. Uh, if you look at her back ankle, you can see she just got a little bit of uh, old scar tissue there on her back ankle. It doesn't bother in the pasture at all, but she won't stay completely sound to be in cutting training. Um, but she has been ridden and could probably be ridden some at home um, day to day by somebody. 
Uh, she's really sweet, really easy to be around, a really attractive Hottish mare, and she will have a baby this January by Tic Tac. So we're pretty excited to see this cross. Uh, this will be the first Tic Tac out of a Hottish mare. Um, we've got a couple more coming. We think that's going to be a really good cross on Tic Tac. Okay, this is somebody's little sweetie. This is a two-year-old daughter of sweet little Pepto. Uh, Travis Stewart has been riding this mare this year. Um, she's out of a somebody smart mare that's produced over 100,000. She's cruising around really cute. Been started on a cow. There's some video of her working the flag in there. Um, but she is a two-year-old daughter of sweet little Pepto and out of a mare that's produced over 100,000. Is a, uh, this is spectacular. She is 220 or 121. Um, this is a three-year-old daughter of Metallic Cat. Uh, she is out of a Pepto mare that won over 100,000 and has produced over 340,000. And her second dam is Miss Echo Wood, which I think we're all familiar with. That mare's produced a ton. Uh, so she's got a super good top and bottom side. This mare is super kind, really easy to be around, very pretty. Uh, rides around really nice. Just about everybody can get along with her. Um, she's just a really kind, pretty three-year-old mare. She's been in cow horse training. Uh, she goes through all the motions of the cow horse, uh, works the flag, all that good stuff. Just a super nice mare. We love her personality, so if you want something that's really sweet, uh, this mare is just, just very kind and wants to be your friend. All right, this is lot 123. This is Wreckage. He is a yearling stud colt by Blindsided. He's out of a daughter of Shining Spark. Uh, that mare is a young Shining Spark mare. Uh, 70 Ranch owns her. She's out of a daughter of Smart Little Lena. She's absolutely beautiful, and her colts have turned out really nice. So this is one of her oldest ones. He is a yearling. Uh, moves around phenomenal in the round pen. If you guys watch his video, I think you'll really like him. Uh, we would really hope to see this course go to a good cow horse program because I think he's going to be really good. Um, the blindsided have been very successful so far. Uh, there has not been a whole lot of them out of own daughters of Shining Spark, so this should be a great cross. Um, Good-minded colt, a lot of feel on the round pin. I can't say enough good things about him. He's probably one of my favorite yearlings uh, to, to move around and watch lope and watch stop. He's just got a lot, a lot of look to him. Uh, hip 124, this is Tag Off. He is a yearling stud colt by Hashtags. He's out of an own daughter of Bob Baker Doc uh, that's out of a daughter of Peppy Sam Badger. So there is a lot of history to his bottom side. Um, we don't see very many out of Bob Aker Doc daughters anymore, and especially that are out of Peppy Sam Badger daughters. So um, I think a lot of people can really appreciate that on this Colts bottom side. If you watch his video, this horse is a monster stopper. Um, you guys can pull the videos up on the apps or on the website. Um, if you go to each horse's individual profile, those YouTube links will be there and you can watch these Colts move around in the round pen. Um, this horse is a monster stopper and a monster athlete. He's very strong, very physical, has a lot of feel. Um, would love to see this Colt go to the cow horse or the cutting. He is by hashtags and out of a Bob Baker dock mare, one of my favorite Colts of the sale. Um, we just love the way this one moves around. So a lot of pedigree here, a lot of history in his pedigree. He ought to be a great stud prospect for someone. This is lot 125. This is Fort Worth Skyline herself. Um, a lot of people probably know this mare. If you're a cutter, uh, you probably know her. She has had several colts that have been big time earners. So she's been a producer. Her daughters have been a producer. Um, she is checked in full to hashtags and she is due in January. So this mare's been an easy breeder. Uh, very easy to have around. Um, we've just had her in a stall here. She appears very sound, does not need any special maintenance, and will be due in January. So like I said, this is Fort Worth Skyline herself. She has produced quite a bit. Um, I encourage you guys to go look her black type pedigree up because I think there's a lot there that uh, everybody can appreciate. And she is bred to hashtags. All right, this is lot 127. Uh, this is Bunosa. So Bunosa is by King Ranch's Stud the Boon. Um, he is out of a mare named Miss Mimosa. Miss Mimosa is a Freckles Playboy mare. Uh, she's an own daughter of Freckles Playboy. She's won over 170,000 herself and has produced several hundred thousand as well. Um, his second dam is the daughter of Peppy Sam Badger. Um, so once again, uh, if you guys are wanting something that has a lot of history to it, um, like I said, the King Ranch owns this horse's sire and he is out of an own daughter of Freckles Playboy that was one of the best daughters of Freckles Playboy we saw. So um, he is well started. He's been in training with Ty Benson all year. You guys can watch his video on the app or on the website. Uh, he's got a lot of sides, a lot of bone, a lot of foot, a lot of good things about this colt. He'll be really good to rope on. Uh, I think this will be a great one to take to the rope horse maturity. So he's well started and ready to go any direction y'all like. This is hip 130. This is devilish. 
Uh, this is a yearling stud colt by Hoddish and out of a mare named White Catalina. White Catalina was a cat mare that won over 55,000. She's produced several that have won some NCHA money. Uh, this colt is very similar to the other, other Hoddish that we have in the sale. He is a big stopper and very quick footed, uh, very responsive in the round pen, has a ton of look and a ton of feel. Um, he is a typical Hoddish that way. So everybody loves them. There's not a lot of them coming. As most of you know, Hoddish passed away a couple of years ago. Um, the only way you can breed to him is ICSI now. So there's not going to be a lot of these. This colt will have a lot of value for somebody, and he needs to go straight to a cutting program because he is a freak athlete in the round pen. So a really nice Hoddish colt out of a, a $55,000 earning daughter of Highbrow Cat. Okay, so this is 133. This is O Chick, it's Boone. Um, this is an absolutely beautiful big mare by Smart Boons. Um, she is out of a daughter of Smart Chickalina. This mare has been in a cow horse program. She rides around really nice, very easy to get along with. Um, as you can see, she is absolutely beautiful. Everybody that comes through the barn wants to know what she is and how much she costs. So um, she has been definitely a fan favorite this sale. Um, and I think you guys can see why she is very, very pretty. Um, again, she is by Smart Boons and she is out of a daughter of Smart Chickalina. Uh, oh, Chick, it's Boone is her name. And this mare is also 15 hands. A lot of people call looking for those big mares. She is 15 hands. So really good brood mare potential. You can go a lot of different directions with this mare. Okay, this is hip 135. This is shooting WR. He is one of my favorites of the wholesale. Um, this colt has been in training all year. He rides around absolutely adorable. You guys got to watch his video on the app. Um, just a super pretty mover, a beautiful loper, and he is a monster stopper. Um, so this colt is by a son of Gunner. Uh, he's out of a own daughter of WR This Cat Smart that's out of a dual ray mare. Um, just a super attractive colt. He could go a lot of different directions. I think he could do the ranch riding. You could rope on him and definitely could go to the cow horse. So he'll have a lot of look everywhere he goes. Like I said, make sure you guys take the time to watch his video. Uh, he's one of my favorites here. Three year, a two year old. This is hip 136. This is too good in metallic. Uh, this is a two year old gelding by metallic cat. Uh, he is out of a mare that won several hundred thousand herself and has been a producer. He's out of a really good mare. Uh, Travis Stewart has been riding this gelding all year. He rides around really nice. He's just cute, easy to get along with, wants to do everything right. Cuts a cow, works a flag. There's a video of him doing both on there. Like I said, Travis Stewart has rode this gelding all year. Um, so he's really broke. He's ready to go any direction you guys would like. So this is a two-year-old metallic cat gelding. Too good in metallic. You ready? Yes. Okay, this is lot 137. This is a um, stud colt by Metallic Rebel out of Pepto's Little Gal, which is an own daughter of Pepto. He has a really strong dam line. The second dam has been a big producer. Um, this colt has a lot of shape. He's got a lot of look to him. Um, he is by Metallic Rebel. The two-year-old Rebels, there's not a bunch of them, but they have sure been really good. Um, and we've had good luck with them as well. So I think this will be a really nice colt. I uh, think this will be a really nice colt for somebody. He's a metallic rebel weanling stud colt. He will be weaned on sale day. Okay, this is um, this is another one of my favorites of the sale. This is hip 138. MJ, he's a foxy cat. Um, so this gelding has won about 18,000 in the cutting. Um, he's also been uh, had a little bit of the cow horse done on him. So he does kind of go through the reining. Um, but he is just super nice to ride. He will fit a lot of different people. He's very, very easy to operate. Um, I know I've said this a couple times, but make sure you guys take the time to watch his video. Uh, like I said, this gelding will fit a lot of people and he's very attractive. I'm gonna turn him around where you guys can see his other side too. This is a really pretty bed. He's a cat gelding. He could be eligible for Ruby Buckle if somebody wanted to pay him in and go do the roping on him. Um, would be a really cool way to go. Um, and I think this horse would make a nice barrel horse too. But like I said, he's won over 18,000. Eligible for a lot of the incentives, but he's a cat then. And um, just the kind of gelding we have a lot of people call for. They're always looking for those all around geldings. This horse has already done everything. He's been sound and just a really nice, good natured gelding. Okay, this is 139. This is one cat duel. This is a four-year-old son of Dual Ray. Uh, he is out of a daughter, a one-time Pepto that won 50,000 and has produced over 100,000 herself. Um, 
This is just a really attractive, really pretty dual ray gelding. You don't see very many that have as dual ray geldings anyways that have as much look as this horse does. Um, he was started in the cow horse. Uh, you guys can watch his video. He rides around really nice. Super, super cute. Um, just a nice gelding to have around. I think this horse can go a lot of different directions. He has been shown just a little bit in the cow horse. Um, but like I said, this horse has got enough size to go rope on, run barrels on, uh, take to the ranch riding. He's cute enough to do everything, or you could sure keep going in the cow horse on him. So this is one cat dole. He's a four-year-old dual rate gelding. This is uh, 140. This is Duels. Uh, D-U-A-L-Z. He is a yearling colt by Dual Rayish out of a mare called a Shadow. Uh, his, his mother is a daughter of Smart Little Lena that is out of Smooth as a Cat's Mother. mother. She's pretty smooth. And um, Smooth as a Cat's Mother has produced over 1.2 million. So this colt has a lot of bottom side to him. Um, he is a super good mover in the round pen. He's really similar to those other Hoddishes we've had. Um, of course, his father is a son of Hoddish, and um, this colt moves the same as them. He's just really physical, really, really quick-footed, will be phenomenal on a cow. He's got a lot of feel, so we really like this colt. He's by Dual Rayish. Um, that's one of our favorite junior sires, and we've had a lot of really nice colts by him so far. So, <coughs> yearling by Dual Rayish out of a shadow. Okay, this is a 141. This is Spoon. Uh, she is a yearling filly by Metallic Cat. She is out of a daughter of, he's a Pepto Spoonful that won over 170,000 herself. And her second dam is Boon Sand Kitty. We all know her. She's produced over 900,000. Um, this is a super nice filly. We have not fitted this filly. She is not fat and slick like the other ones, um, but has really come along in the last couple weeks. We've just started her in the round pen. She gets better every day. This is, um, you don't get an opportunity to buy metallic fillies really often anymore. Most people that get them are keeping them. So um, everybody is always calling me looking for yearling fillies to start. And um, this one has all the parts. She is very pretty, got a lot of look to her, a little extra color, and uh, out of a great, great mare. So I encourage you guys to go watch the video on this filly. I really like her. Like I said, she has come a long ways in a couple weeks in that round pen. And um, I think she's gonna start really nice for somebody. So yearling filly by Metallic Cat. All right, this is 144. This is Give Me a Kit Kat Bar. This is a really cute little yearling gelding by Kit Kat Sugar. He's out of an I'll Be Smart mare. This colt's a big stopper in the round pen. He's already been gelded. He'll be ready to start for somebody. Um, like I said, he's by Kit Kat Sugar. Those horses have been extremely successful in both the cutting and the cow horse, so I think you can go either way with this gelding, um, and he will be ready to start. He's halter broke. Uh, loads, ties, leads, all that good stuff. He's had a great start on him. Um, so we'll be ready for you guys to start riding next year. Okay, this is lot 145. This is SDP for this Ray. This is an own daughter, a dual Ray. Uh, she is checked in full to Dash and Dynamo, uh, which is that colt will be eligible for Pink Buckle, Ruby Buckle, and several other incentives. And she has a baby on her side by a streak of fling. That's this Bay Roan right here. Really nice baby, super friendly. That mare is super friendly. They're very easy to be around. She's a big, strong dual ray mare. So um, that will be a really nice three in one package for somebody with some cow run cross. So uh, just to give you guys a little idea of how our app works, um, this is what you'll come into whenever you. Uh, open the app on an iPhone. It'll look very similar on an Android or the iPad. You'll click 50 lots right there and um, this is what'll pull up. So you can click this black button right here to register to bid. Um, if you click that, it'll prompt you to put in a, an email and a password. If you haven't made an account yet, you'll be able to do it right there. Um, if everybody will go in, if you're not familiar with our cell and read this lot 100, um, we ask y'all to read it before bidding. It has all the information on there, how payment works, how transport works, all that good stuff. So take just a few minutes to read that. And then um, we will have an open house uh, on Saturday from 9 a.m. to noon at the new facility in Lake Kiowa. Um, and then just to give you a little idea of what this looks like, if you click a lot, you can see the horse's picture right here, uh, their black type pedigree. Uh, it'll have front and back end shots on just about every horse on here so you guys can see their legs and feet and then of course there's a video um all the contact info for the consigner will be here most of these horses are here uh at the at, uh, solo select so we will be the contact on it and then if you click this button right here that says click here for radiographs of vet statements it will prompt you to pull up their x-rays and a vet statement so we encourage you guys to have your vet look at these x-rays look at the vet excuse me look at the vet statement um 
we put those on there for you guys um, to try to make y'all uh, give you guys a uh, all around view of that horse. So this is the description on each horse. Um, you can watch them if you're logged in, which when you watch them, if you go over here to watch lots, all those will come up. That's a really useful tool to kind of weed out the ones you're not interested in. Um, and then it will give you notifications and all that good stuff on your outfit. So if you have the auction starts at eight o'clock on Saturday morning, bidding will open and it will end on Sunday at 1 PM. Each lot will end two minutes apart next to these lots. You'll see the exact time that they're going to end. Um, if you have any questions about that, if you click the required read before bidding, it explains exactly how the auction ends. So, uh, but if you have any other questions after that, feel free to reach out to us and we'll be happy to explain the process. So. Um, we look forward to a great sale this weekend, and uh, like I said, if you guys need anything, just let us know.